About 13 miles from downtown Atlanta, welcome to Truist Park. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Texas Rangers going up against the Atlanta Braves. With my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And singing the big bat in the lineup so far this year, Adolis Garcia. Yeah, Boog, he's one of the pillars of this lineup. And when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many at-bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you've got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go. And on the hill in this one, Max Freed. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Here is Marcus Simeon. Leading off protection, the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. The line of the pitch. Fastball for a strike. And this one is off and running. Next offering is fouled back. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's down. One hops off the wall. And that's a leadoff double. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Now it's Corey Seager. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. That's out to center field. Harris has a beat on it. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. That is third, the designated hitter. Wyatt. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. And we check out the guy in the seventh spot, Evan Carter. Well, he's an important part of this lineup for sure. I mean, there's no doubt about it, Boog. It's somebody that they try to feed off of. He does a lot of things, you know, very well up there at the plate. He's got a presence about him, and, you know, he's a guy that you really kind of like to watch swing the bat. Now, here is Wyatt Lankford. And takes low for ball one. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. The Rangers looking to strike first, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Fouled off. He was late. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Ball. And it is two and one. And it's second. And oh, that yeah. just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Adolis Garcia up next. The pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, I want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. Goes down looking. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. So two down now, and here is Adolis Garcia. Sliced hard, but foul.
And he deals. And fouled off. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Got him. In and over on the strikeout. So no runs here in a base hit. No errors and one left. And now the Braves will get their first crack at it. No score. Back here in Atlanta. And starting this one, Dane Dunning. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. That's a base hit. So, out of a board to start the inning. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Michael Harris next up for the Braves. Moved to first. Acuna dives back in. Pitch out, but no action. Acuna runs. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. One one now. This one rip, but foul to the right. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. The pitch. Swing and a miss struck him out. Now oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. Have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Now move to first. Acuna back in standing. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Here's Austin Riley. And there he oh. goes. Ball outside. Save it second, and that was not close. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get in the scoring position with the heart of the order at the plate. That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base, but it's early in this ball game. Can't imagine it'll change the attack plan too much. The one on. Now he breaks his bat. Simeon toss over to first. Two away. Here's Brian Snickers lined up for the Braves. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away, jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Matt Olson in the box now, takes strike one. even up and there's the strike definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside really think the outer half is open right side Garcia has a beat on it makes the grab and that'll end the inning End of the first from Truist Park. No score.
Top of the second. And now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim. Jonah Heim. Free back to work. Foul ball there. On the ground right side. He'll do it himself. He's out. One out in the second. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. And here is Ezekiel Duran. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Snags it for the second out. Next up for Texas, Evan Carter. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. And that one fouled off. Freed, 30 years old now, a former first-round pick back in 2012. Up the middle. Arcia whips it to first. They don't come much closer than that. Bang, bang, play to end the inning. Rangers go down quickly there. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's a big power threat. Marcelo Zuna. Yeah, the right hater back to work. And there's a strike. Out to short. Seeger fires over to first and quickly one away in the second. Good late bite on that slider. That Got the hitter out in front, Not rolled over on it. Exactly what he was God. supposed to do. Here's Orlando Arcia. Right through there for a strike. One out, base is empty. Next pitch misses. One and one. one more. Time to look at our umpiring crew in this one. Kenny Jansen behind the plate. Yeah, and expect a little inconsistency on the corners. He doesn't make any wild calls, but he does give and take there a little bit. So he doesn't have the easiest strike zone to figure out, especially as the game goes on, when you're expecting it to become more consistent. Tosses to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. The catcher. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing them down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Just missed. Two outs, base is empty. And a foul ball. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. That one inside. And now three and one. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Full count. That one hit to right. Garcia settles under it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. We'll move to the third with no score.
And we're back. Here's the rookie third baseman, Davis Wenzel, trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. Free back to work. And a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. And downstairs. Two. That's towards center. Harris has a beat on it. He's there. He's got it. And there's one down. Here's Leone Tavares. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. And a good eye there. And another ball. One down, base is empty. That one fouled off. Top of the third, no score. The wind of the pitch. Back to right. And that is a foul ball. Two two on the way. Just okay. missed. Outside and that is ball four. And he's a guy that will certainly think about stealing a bag or two. Not the kind of speed you want to put on base in a tie game. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Let off this game with a double. The kick in the pitch. Runner goes. Strike in there. Tag. Safe. Stolen base. Darno too late with a throw. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. The pitch. And that one fouled off. And it's second. Lifted in the air, right field. Acuna has it sized up. Makes the grab. And there's two away. So now it's Corey Seager. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. That one finds the zone, and that is strike one. The shortstop takes the ball. Go ahead, run at second. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. He swung over top of the curveball. One left for Texas. Still no score. Back at Truist Park as we go to the last of the third. Now the left fielder, Jared Kelman. 
And here it comes. Fastball for a strike. It's 0-1. And that's in for a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And a pitch. Got him swinging. Pretty much textbook pitching for the three-pitch K right there. Jumped ahead 0-2 on two pitches he didn't want to go after at the plate. Then, knowing he's going to be a little more aggressive trying to protect, it expands just out of his own where he couldn't do anything with it. He gets the strikeout and keeps the pitches thrown to a minimum. Very nice. Here's Luis Guillorme. A little bit lower. All tied up here in the last half of the third. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Not sure if he could be in more of a groove. Looks really relaxed. He's retired seven straight. This guy's feeling it right now. Towards first. Oh, and it hits the base. And they get the out after the ricochet. The right fielder, number 13, Ronald Acuna. Here's Acuna now. One for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single. Pulls that one foul. You'll one. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. And it's a one, two, three inning for the Braves. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Three innings complete. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Out of the fourth. And now here is Wyatt Langford. As the lefty gets to work. And that's off the inside edge. One Ball one. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Makes the grab one away. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. Fought off foul. Fouled off. He was late. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hand, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the ball to it. Ripped on a line to center. Makes a nice running catch. That's out number two. Good piece of hitting right there. Nice hard line drive to the outfield. You're trying to get on base, represent that go-ahead run. Can't hang your head on that at all. Bounce to the left side. Arcia whips it across. Rangers go down in order. Nothing doing for the Rangers, and we are still scoreless. Back here in Atlanta, down the number two hitter, Michael Harris. Now the right hander ready to go. Still no score. And a foul ball left side.
kicks and fires. Ball. And that's outside. And that's one ball, ball one. one strike. And that one fouled off. The one two. That one two. almost got him. Oh. Swings and misses, struck him out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Austin Riley next up for the Braves. Line drive, that's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Matt Olson up to the plate. He's 0 for 1. Righty delivers. Ball one low. Gonna lay off that pitch down. Here's a one two. And another ball. Chase that time. Marcelo Zuna next to bat for the Braves. And a payoff pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Here's Marcelo Zuna. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. A pitch inside. Right back to him on the mound. Tosses to first, and that is the inning. Brave strand one, and we're still knotted at zero. So digging in, Ezekiel Duran. The pitch. Ball. And there's a ball. One ball, no strike. Olsen drifts towards it. And there's one away. Oh, that's a frustrating into the at-bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics. Instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. In the air, left side. And that quickly, two away. Here's the third baseman, Davis Wenzel. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat, getting that first hit at the big league level. 
And a foul ball. Hit on the ground to the right side. Look to the pitcher covering. That ends the frame. first and he takes it himself for the out that's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game it might not be the most challenging we've seen today but it needed to be made that's helping your team Travis Dardo next up for the Braves that one's in there that's strike one Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. One down, runner at first. Jared Kellner now at the plate. Inside no, just missed. And a 1 0. Another ball. <laughs> Left hand batter waits. <laughs> Got him looking. And two away now. Luis Guillorme, the next to hit. Luis. Grounded out his first time up. Guillorme. Bounced up the middle. Simeon. Fires to first. Yeah. That's the third out, and we're headed to extras. One left for Atlanta. Sixth inning coming up. Still nothing on the scoreboard. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Laodi Tavares. The pitch. Off the plate, 1 and 0. Oh. The extra innings rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. So, Chris, how has that changed the way relievers approach these innings? Well, I don't think it's that much different from coming in and clean up someone else's mess. Definitely not ideal, but the best relievers welcome challenges like this. That one not close. And that's ball three. Marcus Simeon. In the on deck circle. At the belt and fires. That Ball just four. missed. He walked him on four pitches. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to, he's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. So the Rangers batting order turns over. Marcus Simeon stepping in for the Rangers. 
just missed. Well, a mistake right here could untie this ball game. If you're the pitcher out there, you just want to be a little more cautious. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. With the go-ahead run standing at second here in extra innings. And fouled off. And the pitch. That no, one misses. Two and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. The pitch. That one inside. And the count's full. Corey Seager waiting for a turn at the plate. Three two now. That ball is foul and the pressure is building. Payoff pitch. And there's ball, ball four. four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Now it's the shortstop, Corey Seager. Fastball in for a strike. 0-1. Well, this is a tough situation with the bases loaded, but the healthiest mindset is just try to get out one hitter at a time. That misses the zone. Yeah, the count one and two. But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. So he needed a strikeout there and he got it. And now we'll see how they play it defensively. Yeah, now they can move the middle infielders back a little bit, get into double play depth, and look for a ground ball and roll it up get a big double play get out of this inning I tell you what that was a big strikeout in the spot where they really needed one now it's the DH Wyatt Lankford golden opportunity right here and this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here tapped at the plate but it's a foul ball in the infield at the corners don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring fought off foul base is loaded one away swing and a ball popped up and that'll fall for a base hit. In to score from third. On the board first, it's one zip. Just a huge at bat right there. There are a lot of nicknames people are attached to hits like that. Bloomberg, Flair, Duck Snort, Lawn Dart, et cetera. But whatever you want to call it, it's a knock. And those are the ones that'll make you smile as a hitter just about every time. Up next for the Rangers, Adolis Garcia. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Skips in and excellent work to corral that one. Could have been dangerous. The Braves bullpen has some activity. Ronaldo Lopez getting ready to go. Minter warming up as well. Bases loaded, one away. And we're at the top half of the sixth. One, two. In the dirt. Wow, that's a great job behind the dish there. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the plate. Fouls it off. Still one and two.
Squirts away a little bit. No advance. Good job behind the dish. All loaded up and here in extra innings. Line drive, base hit. One runs in. The second run scores, and they're up by three. Well, he was a little off balance. He got the front foot down, but was so great at keeping the hands back and allowed him still to get good wood to this baseball. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. Ryan Snicker out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Max Freed will give way, and the line not closed on him yet as he's responsible for the runners on base. Back with a new pitcher after this. Ronaldo Lopez on to pitch here. Oh, he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. Jonah Heim getting ready to hit. There's a strike. And the righty deals. Ball one. Swing and a foul straight back. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Lankford, the runner at third. Garcia at first, one gone. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Right handed reliever. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a ball lifted left field. That's a base hit as a run scores. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Ezekiel Duran will hit next. Right through there for a strike. Oh, one. Still only one out here in the inning. him off. Gosh, here it is. Hit it. Three pitch strikeout. All fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. Stepping in, Evan Carter. Out towards right center field. Harris after it. Makes the catch. And that is that. So they move out in front after a four-run outburst. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Rangers four and the Braves nothing. And we're back. Bottom of the sixth inning. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. Dunning back to work. Base knock right field. And the leadoff man aboard. 
So they hold the runner at third, wanting to play it safe. Think that comes back to bite them? Boy, it's hard to say. That runner on second to start extras is critical, and you want to make sure you don't waste him. If they don't score this inning, there'll be some second guessing for sure. Next to hit, Michael Harris. In there for strike one. Dunning picks over he's and he's back in there. And now the one swung on, belted. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. As a run scores. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car, Boog. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you cruise into second base. Just no worries in the world. You know what? He put a really good swing on that one. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Austin Riley. And that drops in for a strike. the knees and it's 0-2. Well oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes even a good pitch early in the at bat if he's not ready to pull the trigger he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Tying run at the plate. Ball oh. one there. Talk about the right guy at the one right ball. spot. They good really guy. need a rally and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Slider misses outside. With the tying run at the plate here in the bottom of the sixth. Hard ground ball, base down. One runs in. Now the second one is in. It's 4-3. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Manager out of the dugout now. And it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Dane Dunning will depart. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. No outs. Runner at first. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Known for his late inning heroics. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. No ball. Trying to close out a one-run lead. And the home team trying to pull it out. And strike two. No ball. Two strikes. And one and two. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. It's going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Out there to center. Tavares going after it. Squeezes it. And there's one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. And next for Atlanta, Marcelo Zuna. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. In the dirt, and it's one to know. Movement in the bullpen, Jose Leclerc appears to be getting ready for Bruce Bochy. Tying run at first, the winning run at the plate. In the air, right field. 
Garcia makes a nice grab at a full sprint. The battle, number five, shortstop, Orlando Garcia. The Braves down to their last out. Now in for the Braves, Orlando Garcia. First pitch misses. Right now looking for something hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. Two outs. No. Just missed. Yeah, now two balls and a strike. Two one. Kick Sandios. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. That one missing inside. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Travis Dardo to bat next. One strike away. Got him! And that is the ball game. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. 4-3, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Shambi saying so long.